Hi guys, I'm happy to see you again in this kind of opportunity. I'd like to uh, discuss about uh, one of the uh, hot issues in grammar or in even in the multiple syntax, namely sentence types. So people usually use a sentence to communicate with other people and also to express their own idea, express their feelings. So based on the uh, structures uh, of the sentence that people usually uh, express to other people, they tend to have some uh, intention to be understood by others. So before uh, going uh, deeply to the types of the sentence, First of all, we'd like to ask our first uh, questions. What is actually the sentence? So, the sentence reveals a set of words that is uh, complained in itself. Typically, it contains a subject and predicate. So, a very simple sentence at least should comprise the subject and predicate. Um, the sentence as well uh, conveying a statement, a question, exclamation, or even a comment. And it consists of the main clause and sometimes one or more subordinate clause. Now we come to the, uh, the main uh, topics of these uh, presentations. There are four types of sentence structures in English language. The first one is a simple sentence, the second uh, compound sentence, the third one is a complex sentences, and the last uh, is the compound complex sentence. Each of the types uh, will be elaborated uh, one by one. Now we, we begin with the simple sentences. Simple sentence uh, at least consists of a single independent clause. Uh, in this case, an independent clause contains a subject and verb and expresses a complete thought. Uh, for example, the boy hit the ball. They speak English. A monkey talks. So, from the examples that we uh, can see in this slide. So the boy hit the balls can be said as a simple sentence and the subjects in the sentence is the boy. Meanwhile, the predicate is the hit as the verb and the ball is the object of the uh, sentence. The second sentence, they speak English, the subject is uh, they, and the predicate is speak, and the object is English. Meanwhile, in the third sentence, we have uh, only subject and predicates, and the subject is a monkey, and the predicate is dogs. This is a kind of a very simple sentence. So the key of the simple sentence is at least it should have subject and predicate. Now we move to the next types. There is a compound sentence. Compound sentence at least consists of two or more independent clauses and it is joined by a coordinating conjunction. And uh, Besides uh, having the conjunction or the coordinating conjunctions such as but, or, and, and so, it also um, can be conjoined by the use of the semicolon. Each of these clauses put from a sentence a lot. So we can see from the examples, the boy hit the ball and the ball flew out of the park. Second, 
example, they speak English, but they cannot speak Spanish. The third example, you have to do your homework first, or I won't let you go up. Now, from the compound sentence, examples. Uh, in the first example, we can see that the boy hit the ball is um, a single clause or a single sentence, and it it is continued by the second sentence. Uh, the ball flew out of the park. The two examples or the two sen uh, sentences are conjoined by the con uh, coordinating conjunction aim. So the sentences become the boy hit the ball and the ball flew out of flew out of the park. Meanwhile, the second examples, the two sentences are conjoined by the uh, coordinating conjunctions, but so between the first sentence and the second sentence, it is a contra uh, contradictions uh, contradiction by the use of a coordinating conjunction. But they speak English, but unfortunately they cannot speak Spanish. There are two different situations here. It's very contradictory. The, the last sentence you have to do your homework first. Or I won't let you go out. This is a kind of uh, example that uh, we give some uh, conditions, condition or uh, to to somebody. Uh, for example, you have to do your homework first, uh, or I won't let you go out. Yeah. So the coordinating conjunction or is a kind of um, giving somebody's uh, condition. The next um, sentence types, complex sentence. Complex sentence consists of independent clause plus a dependent clause. So these kind of uh, types of sentence uh, comprise at least a dependent clause, which starts with a subordinating conjunction or a relative pronoun and contains a subject and verb but doesn't express a complaint thought. Some coordinating conjunctions, for example, uh, although, because, so, that, and until. We can see from the examples, although he came late, the teacher led him to join the class. Although he came late, the teacher led him to join the class. The second example, the game cannot be continued because it is raining. The game cannot be continued because it is raining. The last example, all passengers cannot get aboard until the announcer to do so. All passengers cannot get aboard until the announcer to do so. Now we move to the last uh, sentence types, namely compound complex sentence. Compound complex sentence consists of multiple or at least two independent clauses and one or more dependent clauses. We can see from the examples that I give um, a different color to uh, determine the kind of uh, the clauses and one of them is independent clause and the rest are uh, dependent clauses so let's see from the first example when the when the girl hit the ball the fans cheer and the ball flew out of the park when the girl hit the ball the fan the fans cheer and the ball flew out of the park. Yeah. Actually, in this uh, sentence, there are three uh, clauses. One will take position as the independent clause, and the rest to the uh, clauses or dependent clause. So we can determine when the girl hit the ball uh, and the fence cheers, 
uh, might take position as the uh, dependent clause. And the last sent sentence or the last clause, the ball fl uh, flew out of the park, take position as the uh, dependent clause. Okay, we move to the next uh, example. When the call to board the plane is announced, all passengers must get, must get, must get ready at the boarding gate and have their tickets checked one by one. When the call to board the plane is announced, all passengers must get ready at the boarding gate and have their tickets checked one by one. From these sentences, this compound complex sentence, when the call to board the plane is announced, take position as a dependent clause, and the last clause, and have their tickets checked one by one, is the second dependent clause. But while the blue uh, colors of the sentence that I have already put here, all passengers must get ready at the boarding gate, is taking place as the independent clause. That's the examples of compound complex centers. Now we move to the exercises, and I do hope that you can do by, your, uh, by yourself at your home. Uh, probably you have to uh, prepare or at least uh, prepare a piece of paper to do uh, these exercises. And actually there are five sentences uh, which comprise uh, two sentences. And you might use uh, some of the conjunctions, probably uh, the coordinating conjunctions like but, like uh, and, and etc. to join the two sentences into one uh, compound or one compound complex sentence. I hope you can enjoy this presentations and fulfill your uh, your needs to learn about the English grammar. Thank you all for this uh, opportunity. Thank you very much. See you next time.